What's going on everybody? It is cold and snowing and we're bored so we're baking. So anyways, we are going to make an Oreo cheesecake, a healthy Oreo cheesecake. Um, I, this isn't my recipe. I got this recipe from Remington James, but I did a few things differently. It tastes really, really good, so we're going to go over how to make this. So, you're only going to need a few ingredients. Autumn, come over here really quick. If you look at this crust, the crust is already done. The crust is made of Oreos. You're actually going to use Oreo cereal, um, 120 grams, and then 170 grams of Greek yogurt. You mix it up into a batter, and then put the batter on a... Um, and a cake pan, okay? From there, you put it in the oven at 320, actually 400 for 10 to 12 minutes and get it out of the oven. While you're doing that, this is where you're gonna make the batter. So you have two sticks of fat-free cream cheese. You have, how much Greek yogurt? 340 grams of Greek yogurt, a tad of the vanilla extract, like 10 grams on there, and then we're gonna add some of the other stuff. So right here, this is 30 grams of Splenda. We're gonna throw that in. It calls for four scoops of protein. So most protein like per scoops around like 29 to 32 grams of actual weighted protein. Um, this one by Condemned is 34. So I guess we're gonna go a little bit over on the protein. So we're gonna add four scoops here. Boom. Then I'm going to add a little bit of muscle egg to the product. And since it's going to be a Oreo cheesecake, we're going to use some of the vanilla. I'm not measuring this out. I've made this recipe a lot, so I just kind of know I go by feel. I would say if I'm actually measuring it, it might be like half cup to three fourths of a cup. Okay. And actually, when you start blending it, it's going to make it a little bit easier and consistency wise. Um, so our, our bottom is made obviously with Oreos and Greek yogurt in here. Um, once we get the batter done, we're going to sprinkle this amount of Oreo cereal, which is, how much we got going on? 40 grams on top, and then that's what we're going to do. So I'm going to end up, I'm going to blend this with a blender, not with a blender, a mixer. I'm going to mix this with a mixer, put it on top here, and then um, we'll show you guys the next step. You trust me with the mixer. Yeah. It's just so funny because I'm not a baker. It's not even on. Do we not have power? Brent, that's ceramic. I don't know what's going on. This is what he just threw. Let's throw it down. I don't think we have power on this outlet. Oh, we don't because look, the microwave's out. Yeah. You done blew a fuse, bud. To the fuse box. I'm gonna spray all this on you. And when this is done, you're getting no pieces of this. That's what you gotta do while you mix. Sure. The only thing that'll make this better is if you play the Rich Player theme song and Mocha Man. Yeah. So, anyways, when you're doing this, you wanna get a good thing to just getting all this stuff mixed up. I'm a little bit closer, obviously, than this spray. <laughs> It should take a few minutes. Hey. You think, baby? You want to get the cheesecake-like consistency. All you're gonna do is spoon this on here, like so. Hey, don't mess with the way I do this because it tastes good. That's all that matters. Try to teach somebody how to make a healthy cheesecake instead of going buying one and getting fat. Benji just got groomed. Where's Petey? Petey's behind you. This part this always is the see. calmest he'll ever be. Okay. I always am OCD to get everything out. You need the spatula. Like I said, I'm not a cook. We're bored, so we're cooking. We're but this cooking. recipe is really good when you do make it. All you're going to do is just spread that out evenly. Ooh, yeah. 
Preheat your oven. Preheat. The 325, we're going to keep this in there for about 30 to 35 minutes. And then we're going to go from there. So here's our cheesecake topping right here. Here's the top of the cheesecake, like so. And then Autumn's going to decorate it. You can decorate it. Let me decorate it. And all this is is crushed at Oreos. If you don't have a Vitamix, I highly suggest you invest in one. It is an investment because they're not cheap. But it makes mixing, blending. You can just read something like where Vitamix can like blend up golf balls or something like that. Because the motor is so big. Anyways. You blended up a little too much. I think you did. Hey, it doesn't have to be pretty. It doesn't have to be pretty. Okay. So. That is that. You got it? Take a yeah. look at it. We're going to put it in for 35 minutes, see what it looks like, and then it's going to go in the refrigerator. So there we go. Woo. How is it? Not too shabby. On a health, because it's healthy cheesecake, so it's not going to taste like a cheesecake factory, but it's pretty dang good. No, it's real good. On a scale from one to 10, how's good's a batter? I would say a solid eight. What would a 10 be? And what's a one? What do you mean? I mean? People have to know the scale. What is a one and what's a 10? A one is bunk. A 10 is terrific. So do you think when you add the Oreo, see, cause you're not having any of the Oreo stuff, you're just having the no. filling. It's just cream cheese. So we have to take uh, that into consideration. Okay. We'll see, we'll see once it's all done, what you're gonna give them the recipe. Yes. There you go. Alrighty, so this has been in there at 325 for 35 minutes or so. You kind of got to check their base ovens are a little bit different, but zoom in there, Autumn. Now, this is one of the last stuff that I use. This stuff is the bomb. This stuff is amazing. It's confectioners. If you ever put this on any type of, like, sugar, and I'm, I'll put, like, muscle egg together with it, this takes it to a whole new game. So, what we're going to do here, before we let it cool and set, we're just going to sprinkle a little bit lightly all over the cheesecake, like so. Lightly. Lightly. That's fine. We, we, all, we all have different forms of lightly. Um, and then what you gotta do with this is that sometimes I get a little bit antsy and I put it in the freezer because it'll set better, but it's really better if you leave it in a refrigerator overnight. So tomorrow morning, first thing in the morning, I'm gonna have Autumn do a taste test because I won't be impartial with it since I made it, and she will tell you how good the recipe turned out. Well, the recipe is good, but the person who made it just might not be the best, AKA me. So um, we'll check back in there, but there you got it. Oh, one more thing, one more thing, just so you guys know the macros of this. Per this whole cake, per this whole cake, you've got 12 grams of fat around there, 196 grams of protein, 230 grams of carbs. So you could easily slice this up into six, eight pieces, four pieces, whatever, but I mean, for the whole thing, that's not too bad. So um, there's our anabolic Oreo cheesecake, and Autumn will tell you how good or bad it is tomorrow.